Hello everyone, my name is Yasuhiko Yamazaki. I am a Japan Seizi independent journalist based on internet media. I am also a political and social activist. I am broadcasting every day in Japanese YY News Live, except Saturday and Sunday at 9 p.m. in local time for more than 8 years. Approximately 500 persons are watching every time. I started English Japanese broadcast bi-weekly on Wednesday night from the 7th 2015 in order to talk directly to 1.4 billions of English speakers around the world to let them know the hidden in unknown truths on Japan and the world. Please listen to the English radio based on the English Japanese broadcast YY News Live held yesterday Wednesday on the 06th January 2021. Subject I want to call on the awakened citizens equals the revolutionary citizens of all over the world to protect lives and daily lives from the new corona pandemic. In particular I want to call that the awakened citizens equals the revolutionary citizens of Japan, China, the United States EU member states, the United Kingdom, Russia, South Korea, Taiwan, Canada, Australia and India would take action to realize the following three policies. 1.100% nationalization of the central bank 2. Direct interest-free loan from the central bank 3. Abolition of consumption tax and uniform taxation of financial economy. We strongly urge the current administration to implement the three policies. And if not, let's establish it. New administration equals civil revolution administration in the next election. The following is a concrete explanation of the three policies. 1. 100% nationalization of the central bank awakened citizens around the world know that their central banks are effectively controlled by the Rothschild International Financial Mafia with the exception of China. The U.S. awakened citizens know that the U.S. Central Bank FRB is 100% Rothschild Bank, a pure private bank with no shares of the U.S. government. Japan's awakened citizens know that the government has a 65% stake of the Central Bank of Japan. The Bank of Japan is but that successive BOJ governors are the operators selected and sent by the Rothschild International Financial Mafia. Japan's awakened citizens know that the Bank of Japan's policies are all decided by the Rothschild International Financial Mafia and directed by their operators to implement them. The awakened citizens of all over the world know that the central banks of each country use the money issuance rights monopolized by them to reprint bank notes to create huge central bank funds and that most of them are dropped into the financial economy instead of the real economy via private bank controlled by the Rothschild International Financial Mafia. It would be absolutely necessary to nationalize and transfer policy making power to the parliament. It would be absolutely necessary to take the money issuance right monopolized by the central banks of each country from the control of the Rothschild International Financial Mafia and to use it only for the lives and the welfare of the people and the growth of the real economy. 2. Direct interest-free loan from the central bank It is stipulated that no government can cover the government deficit by borrowing funds directly from the central bank. Under the current system in order to fill the government's deficit, the government issues government bonds all of which is undertaken by private banks and the government pays high interest to receive loans from the private banks. When the balance of government bonds purchased by the private banks exceeds a certain level and becomes high, the central bank buys government bonds from the private banks and provides funds. Who benefits and who loses in this roundabout way? Who profit or one government with unlimited debt making too? Private bank that earns huge interest income by purchasing government bonds and 3. The central bank that can freely issue money. Who loses is the common people who pay the price for the huge national debt that accumulates every year by the decrease in income due to the real economic recession, by increased taxes and insurance premiums and by the reduction of pensions and decline of social welfare services. 3. Abolition of consumption tax and uniform taxation of financial economy The awakened citizens of each country in the world know that there is a financial economy does dozens of times larger than 
The real economy in addition to the real economy that is the daily labor and life of the common people. The awakened citizens around the world know that the real economy is a useful economy that creates useful value for people but that the financial economy is a gambling economy that is useless to people and does not create any value by buying and selling to obtain margins of financial products. What we demand of the government are to abolish the consumption tax and the value-added tax that are taxes on the real economy and to uniformly tax the financial economy with the financial products. Transaction tax to secure financial resources which is completely new. For example in the case of Japan, the scale of the real economy would be about 555.8 trillion yen, about 5.29 trillion dollars in real GDP in 2019, so if the 10% consumption tax is abolished, 20 trillion yen per year would be added in income and disposable. The scale of Japan's financial economy is the total transaction amounts of the financial products such as stocks, corporate bonds government bonds, commodity futures, derivatives, products, and FX, foreign exchange margin trading. It would be estimated to be 1 k yen, 10,000 trillion yen. If Japan's financial economy is uniformly taxed with a 5% financial transaction tax, about 500 trillion yen of new financial resources could be secured annually. This financial resource should be used to the people suffering from the new corona pandemic. End.